Hey you guys, I just Let's see I just bought a lot of stuff for my Did a lot of upgrades In my cafe Um, this is my cafe I've had it now for a little while I'm up to level 14 as you can see Um this is totally different, like all of the different little fixtures here, um, the tables, the couches, the fireplace, the aquarium, the whole look has changed. This is my storage. This was the original look there, the wooden look. So I have done a lot of upgrades so far. I'm trying to build up my gems and my cash flow here. So because um, I think on level 16, I'm going to have, um, let me see what's level 16. Level 16 is something. No, that's 18. There's level 16, I'm supposed to buy something. Oh, level 15, apparently. Caramel tiramisu. So, pretty much every level or two, it's going to ask you to buy new upgrades. And right now, my funds is low. I'm probably going to need at least 70000 plus to keep it going. Um, whoops, didn't mean to touch that. Well, let me move that over. Okay, that's sensitive now. <laughs> new to the gameplay, so I have to get used to that area being sensitive and let me avoid touching it. Um... But yeah, this is my cafe. Pretty much if you're not familiar with the game, um, this woman right here, the one with a star beside her, she's the main owner. Everybody else with the um, half aprons, well, that, actually the guy has a full apron, I didn't notice that. But the other females with the half aprons, they're her employees, the guys are employees. Um, and we basically, when they need food or drinks, they'll raise their hand. And one of the two servers, I call them the twins, they'll come out and get these people's orders. And then they'll come over here and put the order on the table. And then the barista, which is the owner and the guy, will go and get the items and give it to the servers. However, sometimes the servers can get items too because if we go over here where it's 9 days and 22 hours, I have to do 24. So I have 6 more orders to fill until 30 and oh hold up here's the order that's a perfect example okay so in this order they want 25 ice fruit ice fruit teas 15 mochas 15 vanilla cappuccino 20 frappes and 40 strawberry ice cream so i can assign all of these people to help out or i can have two work in the cafe and two help out fill this order or i can do which i normally opt to help out and I fill the quick order. So anything that I could do really, really quick, I'll go ahead and fill that. So in this case, the iced tea fills up pretty quickly. So I'll probably do the iced fruit tea. And I'll probably help with the strawberry ice cream. Because it's already sitting there in the freezer. And once we fill this order, the reward will be $1,560. And I'll get two rose petals which that helps fill specialty orders, and I'll explain that later. But on this one, I'm normally doing that side, who's going to fill the order. I kind of see who's doing nothing. So right now it's the owner and one of the twins. Well, the owner's walking to do something. She, she might be about to fill an order. We'll see. No, she's not doing anything. Okay. So I'll look and see. I have to remember which twin it was with the owner. I'm going to assign her that job, and then... I think it's Karina that I changed the shirt on so I could separate the two of them. And what will happen is, actually, I think I signed the wrong one because she's not moving. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to go and start filling this order. But while they do that, I'm going to assist them and refill the drinks here. Um, But let's see. Okay, so the barista just put that item down to fill up that order. And one of the twins picked it up and she's going to bring it over here to him give him his item and then she'll should well i guess maybe no one's in need oh she's cleaning she's putting up a new order okay and so the barista will fill it 
Um, sometimes I collect the money on top of the head. Sometimes I don't. And the reason for that is because when I perform um, any task within the festival, sometimes it says collecting a certain amount of money. And I like to have that already kind of like filled up. But I'll go ahead and collect it just because I do need money stacked in my account. So when we move to the next level, it will be there. So as I said, I'm going to help them out real quick. And it's like 40 strawberry ice creams. As I said, I'll go ahead and fill it, help click the drink so that way you can refill while they're doing other things. And this little circle right here with the guy's head, that's the ego, which this is my first time dealing with him. He came to the cafe around the obvious Halloween time and said he needed 30 orders filled, yada, yada, yada. You get more money, you get more bonuses. And he every two hours is an order to fill by him. So um, I, <laughs> I've actually been losing sleep to do this. <laughs> I try to set like alarm every two hours or so, so I can whatever I'm doing. If I'm if I'm up and about, I can go ahead and fill his order. And I'm gonna help her one of these ice fruit teas real quick. The ice cubes, and then ooh, I didn't mean to touch that. The grape juice for there is ice fruit tea, and fill that. Ooh, clicked up my mistake. Fill that order. Okay, simple. And as I said, look at the iced tea already filling up. It's ready for the next person. So the iced tea fills up really, really fast. So a lot of times when they pick up their drink and I hit it, I can go ahead and fill the iced tea for them and then do something with the order and click another one before they even come back. Like that's how quick it is. And that's why that's one of the drinks or one of the items I like to help them with because it fills so quickly. And as I said, it's 40 ice creams. Oh, click two by mistake. And this is going to be interesting. I don't know if you guys can see this on here, but okay, I can move it all around. All right, I didn't know that. Okay. And periodically, I check the status. It's 40 items, so that can take a little while, but sometimes the time surpasses a lot faster than I initially anticipated. So, let me see how many more we need. Oh, yeah, we still have a ways to go. 17 more. As it, this is very important to me because um, it does expire, even though I'm like way ahead of schedule. Um, ooh, way ahead with filling these orders. But I'm, I'm anxious to see what happens afterwards. Like, I don't know if he's going to want 30 more orders filled or if it's going to be it once it's finished. So I'm trying to like get this completed so that way. Hopefully, there'll be something new and exciting to happen um, if I do it early. So, okay, strawberry ice cream, right on point. Cool. So, now just um, the ice fruit tea, the mocha, vanilla cap, and the frap. And that's it. So, I can opt to help out with, as I said, there's the ice tea, I mean, the ice cubes, the grapefruit, and the tea. And basically, my cafe is putting together different recipes. Some is just a drink. There's some people that say, I just want tea. Then there's someone that might say, I want mint tea or I want lemon tea or I want cream tea or chocolate tea, whatever. And then that's when they go and make the recipes or I make the recipes manually. However, they do have what I said is specialty order, which where the guys walking right there is where you have other little um, specialty items that you put in the drinks. Um, well, actually, the different spices you put in drinks or food items. So you can mix it up however. But these, you, they're specialty. 
You're not going to come across them. That's a special spice booth. I have to use gems to pay for any additional ones that I don't collect any other way. Um, and these are the recipes here. That's all. The tea and the prices. The green right there shows that that's the right price that you need. Light green means that you're actually cheating yourself. The darker green means that's the correct price. Yellow means you can have the price that high, but they may or may not order it. Um, and as you can see, there's more tea to come depending on what level that you're on. And 25 pretty much caps you out on these recipes. But with these additional recipes or the question marks come items that you will buy to make those recipes after you attained a certain level. Um, the espressos and there the Americana. You don't have that many more of that. Uh, the ice cream. Ooh, Froyo's coming. I didn't know that. Okay, all right. I did not know that. Cakes. So you have your sweet tooth. And then croissants is under here too. And I love tiramisu. Love, love, love tiramisu. Oh my goodness, that Italian dessert. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't say lattes, cappuccino. Hot chocolate. Love some hot cocoa. And it's cooled down now, so that's perfect. And these are the specialty recipes. Now, with these special spices in here, the prices as you see are way more. There's one that's over a thousand, I know, but this one is eight hundred. Yeah, see, that was twenty six hundred. That's a dessert. The spices you have to do more to get. However. It can be worth it because the money's there. The money is definitely there. And I'm going to do a walkthrough too on um, everything that I have. However, I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so this is the ego. And that's what I was going to set up show too. Well, I skipped it now. But see the little bubble, little quotation um, bubble here with the dots? That basically means that the person that whoever's head is over has something that they want to say. However, with Diego, I cleared his out. But I'm going to go back to him so you can see. Okay, so I click his bubble and he says, I like it here. And then I'm going to click here. Sometimes it has options. Sometimes it just has one. But this one just says, when are we going to try to figure out what the inscription on the cloak means? I click that. He wants us to fill... 27 orders and then we're going to solve his puzzle basically the cloak that he's wearing he inherited it from count dracula generations later another count dracula and he can't get the cape the cloak off and he was explaining to me the first portion of it so this is the second portion to solve the puzzle of how to get the cloak off so it's like an enchanted cloak very spooky but however we are at 24 um, this is the 25th one that we're filling now, so we don't have much longer to know what the conclusion to this story will be. And we will know because this is 25, so like in about four hours or so, I'm going to try to record this again so you guys can kind of keep up with the story and follow along. But, um, four hours or so, I should have the completion of the story if it works along with my, with my schedule. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to fill those. Now let's go to the next story here. Well, I know you guys can read, so <laughs> I don't have to read along with you, but um he says you have a nice cafe here. Oh, and the name is at the top if you didn't notice that Klofsky. How is it going living with Clyde? <laughs> He's too grumpy. Yeah, Clyde, I, I hooked Klofsky and Clyde up because Clyde is visiting. Um He's a, a musical artist and he is visiting the city, the area. He was looking for a place to live. So he was like staying at a hotel. And um, I told him this guy was low on funds because of something that happened earlier in the story. And um, I told him that he wanted to rent out an area, a portion of his house, you know, room, bathroom, and a portion of his home so that way they could be roommates and they could help each other out let's see what's going on because something's going on with the mortgage payments 
Okay, Watson is our residence um, police officer. Okay, they're going to play poker. <laughs> wow. He needs him to take the rake out of the yard and put it in the shed. Yeah, something's going on there. A lot of times these characters that come into the cafe will have a story connected. Um, and it's just very, very funny. But as I said, I'm on level 14 right now. However, um, my sister doesn't have this game set up. So, of course, if you guys would like to see it from the first level, we can always oblige and show you that information. Um but yeah, I'm at level 14, so some of the story is going to be jumbled, but I'll try to keep you, get you up to speed on it, though. Oh, he's so sweet. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Let's see if his roommate's here. No, but the mayor is. Let's see what the mayor is saying. Green Moon Fund. Oh my goodness. Yes, he is threatening. Okay, so here you guys. I wish you could help me decide. Um... Honestly, reading this, I do feel like this is a threat. And look at that picture. Doesn't Donald Mulligan look very sneaky, just underhanded? <laughs> and he's the mayor of the city. So, ooh. Um, I'm not going to say tell me more about your request. I'm just going to say that sounds like a threat. Mm -mm. Okay, well, that's the case. Hmm. Okay, keep listening. <laughs> hmm, okay. Alright, so it gives me something to think about. Until next time, Mr. Mulligan. Alright, now let's see what Kevin has to say. Okay, now I'm going to ask him about the Mayor's Foundation then. Here we go. <laughs> Unprintable words and the addresses. Okay. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, and I just realized this too. Let me fill up the tea. And I think that's it for the drinks and the muffin. Okay. So now, as I showed you, um, that's Miss Cleo there sitting at the bar. And she has something she wants to say. And if you look to the far left up at the top, that's my level. Then I'm at with the star, level 14. Underneath it is our book. Okay. And in that book, it shows everyone affiliated with the game. And you have Mr. Diego here. And let's see. He's just requesting about his 27 orders. I'm going to leave this up for a second if you want to kind of get caught up on the story. Um, I guess in a whole new recording, I can break down each character because I forget it does show their history. I'm not sure how far it goes back exactly, but I can do a recording with just 
the characters of where we're at so far. And if that kind of gets you up to speed, then fine, we'll leave it like that. Because I forget that that's even here. Um, but that would be perfect, though. So each person here, the blue shows that everything is pretty much current. Um, the green shows things that I still need to work on when it comes to this particular character. And let's see. I'm not going to go through them all, though, as I said now. But these are the characters that's coming to um, the cafe. And I think, I think it's the order that they came to is how it's listed, if I remember. I thought Donald Mulligan came after Diego, though. Honestly, I think it was introduced to the mayor later. But Diego might be the end because, to my knowledge, he's not an ongoing character in the story. He's just coming because it's Halloween. So after his orders are filled... He probably won't be around after that. Um, but that's the owner, as I said, the main barista. And then the first few of the story has been around for a while, up until the one with the hat. So the first, what is that, eight characters here? Yeah, the first eight characters here, including the owner of the restaurant, i.e. me. Um, those have been the main characters and everybody else is has come after certain levels when you get to certain levels you get introduced to new characters so um let's see 